This is ABC Radio Victoria with Nicole Chavastek. The Premier declares an unprecedented state of emergency in response to the coronavirus pandemic. We are declaring a state of emergency in Victoria under the Public Health and Wellbeing Act. That state of emergency will be effective from 12 noon uh, today and will run for four weeks. Uh, it is likely that that state of emergency will be extended and will be in place for as long as it needs to be. That's the Premier declaring that unprecedented state of emergency as experts warn that regional businesses will be hardest hit as their lifeblood events shut down and cancel. The NBN test. Will the nation building infrastructure be able to step up as tens of thousands of Australians are instructed to work from home? Plus, how are you navigating this emergency? Meg um, is a writer in Dalesford. Meg, good afternoon. Hello. How are you changing your life, Meg? I'm just uh, living my life as I normally would. I'm just uh, not going out as much and not seeing as, m as many people as I ordinarily would. Have you been amazed at the stockpiling that's been going on at the supermarkets? No. I haven't been amazed at all. I think it's very understandable. People are scared. Mm. And if people have to practice social distancing, then they're going to have to be at home for a long time without being able to go to their food source, without being able to go to procure their food. So they're doing what they naturally want to do, is to make sure their families are well fed. Are you able to operate without, you know, schlepping down to the supermarket all the time? Is that something that your family has trained itself to do or taught itself so, to do? Yes, it has. So we haven't shopped at a supermarket for 10 years. <laughs> so we, wow. we, live on a, we live on a quarter acre yeah. and we grow as much food as we can. We're community gardeners, we're big foragers, we're a member of a local food co-op and we do lots of exchanges with neighbours. So, and, and, with, and with community friends. So it's doable, Meg. We don't have to, because this is a house of cards, isn't it? We, we think that the supermarkets just uh, um, magically are there all of the time. And when something like this hits, it makes it clear just how fragile this economic system that we've built up in order to make large corporations lots of money and to make an income for ourselves, just how fragile it can be. Absolutely. And I've lived like that. I've had a regular full-time job and I've had a car and I've had my overseas holidays and I've shopped at supermarkets. And to live um, with all of your hopes pinned on the centralised system makes you very vulnerable in a time like this. And we've been practising um, our permaculture principles and we've been practising you know, lots of unlearning of, of all of the habits that we developed over our lifetime and for the last 12 years have really been focused on what can we do for ourselves? What can What is community sufficiency? What is What does our resilience really look like? Hey, and hey really, Meg, Meg yes, this sounds yes. fabulous, but it took me two years to grow a tomato. So can you sort of, you know, just for people who don't have your insights, can yes. you sort of suggest some basic things that we can do to become a little bit more self-sufficient? Um, well, for the last five years, we haven't used toilet paper. We've been using reusable cloth. And I think at first when we started talking to people about that, they were quite grossed out by the whole idea. Mm. But now, since we posted it on Facebook, just a reminder that there are alternatives to using toilet paper, we've had so many people contact us to say, wow, so how big do you, make, how big do you cut them? What do you cut them out of? And what do you wash them with? And things like that. So, and... If everybody can just grow one thing and, or just make one thing that they would ordinarily buy just so they can really start to, to practice what it looks like to be more resilient. Great to talk to you. Meg Allman in Dalesford.